Welcome Rails beginners and experienced users. This is Asia G from the Full Stack Videos channel. I've started my journey with Rails very recently, so these videos will be very helpful to those who are on the same path as I, as we can all learn together. Rails can be frustrating when you're just starting, but don't feel stuck as help is here. I'll be showing you five ways to get help when you're stuck, and I'll be providing some great resources for additional learning. Before showing you how to get help, I would just like to let you know that the book I've learned so much from, and very easy to understand, is a book by Daniel Kehoe called Learn Ruby on Rails. The best part is, it's absolutely free. Thank you, Daniel Kehoe. He offers a good introduction and overview, especially for beginners, and I just found it so useful. You can find the book on Amazon, but you can get it for free when you visit learnrails.com. It's absolutely worth it. As promised, here are my five recommendations on what to do when you're stuck. First, you should know about Stack Overflow. It's the best place to find answers to technical questions. You can ask a question, but first, be sure to search and see if a similar question was already answered. You can do a search and copy and paste error messages, or you can compose and post a question. The hardest part is writing a good question. Try to be brief and straight to the point. If you're having a hard time articulating your question, first do some searches and see if you can find the right technical lingo to describe your problem. After you ask your question or complete a search, you may find people have asked questions about problems like yours. There may be several answers, but not all of them are correct or current. It's important to read all the answers and compare. Sometimes the answer that's most popular won't be true for you. Look closely at how recent the answers are compare the answers, and follow links to related questions. Don't be ashamed to rely on Stack Overflow for help. The most experienced developers regularly use Stack Overflow whenever they're stuck, often several times a day. The art of development is not knowing everything, but knowing how to ask questions and where to look for answers. Second, Google. I love saying Google is your best friend, but not everyone knows how to get the most out of their friendship with Google. Not everyone knows that Google has search tools to improve the results you get. You might overlook it, but at the top of your page, there's a tab for search tools with a drop-down menu for time where you can specify results from the past year, as that is a good time span for search results about Rails. Not everyone knows Google has search tools to improve the results. The art of using Google involves finding the right wording for your question. Google will recommend search terms. Make sure to look at Google suggestions. Also, like Stack Overflow, you can copy and paste an error message, but a long error message may not give you the results you want. Try longer or shorter versions of the error message if you don't get helpful results. Third, blog posts. Google search will give you many results, but you'll hit the jackpot when you find blog posts. Developers in the Rails community often write blog posts about problems they've run into or techniques they've developed. The best blog posts can be mini tutorials that can show you everything you need to solve your problem. Be sure to check how recent the blog post is, because Rails and Gems change often, and recommended instructions from two years ago may no longer be workable. Fourth, Reddit. On Stack Overflow, you can't ask general questions. It is only for questions that have technical and factual answers. On Stack Overflow, any question that could result in opinions and debates will be flagged and removed. Take those questions to Reddit, specifically the Rails forum. On Reddit, the forums are called subreddits. Before you ask a question, do a search on Reddit. Your question may have been asked and answered already. If you don't find what you're looking for, post a question to the forum. Word your question carefully and use good English and describe your problem fully. Sorry to say, sometimes you'll get offensive responses, but most of the Rails developers on Reddit want to help. Be warned though, they're all very opinionated. Here's a great tip. If you don't get answers to your questions on Stack Overflow, go to Reddit and post the link and ask people on Reddit to help with your Stack Overflow question. There are several subreddits that are relevant to Rails developers. Look for the ones that have the most readers because they'll be the most active. The Rails subreddit is a place for your specific Rails questions. 
You may be interested in the Ruby subreddit in addition to the Rails subreddit. The Ruby subreddit is for general programming questions. When you visit a subreddit, look on the right side of the page for recommended links. If you want to learn a lot about Rails, check the Rails subreddit every day and look for forum posts that interest you. If you're a beginner, you may not understand what you're reading, but over time, you'll gain a better understanding. Last but not least, you can ask questions and find answers on Quora. Quora is a great place to ask for advice and opinions. Unlike Reddit, where posts expire within a few days, Quora's questions and answers are permanent, so you'll find good advice that's recent and also some that's out of date. On Quora, you'll find a lot of opinions. Some people provide really good advice, others are promoting something, and others don't really have well-informed opinions. Be sure to follow links on related question and answer sets. So, in a nutshell, when you're stuck with a Rails problem or need advice, find help from the following. Start with Stack Overflow for technical questions, Google for blog posts, go to Reddit and Quora for opinions and advice. If you're a subscriber, I'd like to say I appreciate your support for the project. To get more videos like this and learn about our project, send me an email. The address is more at fullstackvideos.com. Come back for more!